What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training, end of day, this is December 14th, 2021. Uh, guys, we got some bench work to share today because I really uh, didn't have a lot going on. I have one vehicle out in the field today, but I've been prepping for a lot of classes coming up. Uh, this the vehicle today was a 2007 Mercury Montego, and this had a three liter, I think. Um, anyhow, um, I didn't even check codes on this. It's a long story how I got involved, but I was in a hurry, I had to get out of there. And uh, just basically I started it and installed. That's what the shop was complaining about. And I think they put plugs and did all kinds of stuff. Um, but I start, it started and installed. And one, the way it stalled, I kind of heard it with my ear. I'm like, it sounds like uh, either a restricted exhaust or a mass airflow sensor problem like I've seen on some other vehicles. So I just went out, disconnected the mass airflow sensor, and it started and ran just fine. Then it started misfiring pretty bad. I mean, it was shaking and coughing and farting, all kinds of stuff going on there. Turns out I didn't even see it. I mean, I couldn't hear whether we had a giant exhaust leak or I didn't know what was going on. Um, but it turned out we had a hole burned through the intake manifold. Once I put my smoker on there, we found that quickly. Um, guys, now the big question is, is why did that uh, melt through? Was the EGR valve commanded on all the time? EGR valve stuck open? Was the exhaust restricted? What's burning up this manifold? I don't know. We have to find that out. But let's go ahead and take a look on a bench today. All right, here we've got a, a little demonstration board that I built using Arduino. Let me go ahead and turn this on. You can see we got our fuel injectors going on here. I have this hooked into channel four, the green uh, channel of the scope. Now my uh, lead, my purple lead is the trigger lead, and that is gonna be our injector voltage. Let's play a game called you tell me which injector is bad. I'm gonna first probe this one, we'll call this one number one. Let me get this time adjusted so we can see what's up there. That's injector number one. We'll call this injector number two. We'll call this injector number three. And we're gonna go ahead and call this injector number four. So think about it. Which one do you think is bad? Let's go ahead and review these injectors. We're gonna go back to number one. This one's good, we got a nice pintle bump. We got a current ramp. You can actually see a little bump in the current ramp there, which is awesome. That's some pintle movement action. Sometimes you can't see that very well, sometimes you can. It all depends on the uh, vehicle or injector style you're checking. Let's check in number two. Looks about the same. Really don't see much difference there. Now number three, it looks like our pintle bump isn't as big as number in number three. Let me go back to number two. That has more of a bump. This is a little bit less. However, we can still see some movement in our pintle here or a uh, difference in our pattern in our amp ramp. And let's go ahead to number four. Well, this one doesn't have a pintle bump whatsoever. And on top of that, instead of a current ramp, we have what I call a uh, current curve, okay? That's a current curve going on there. So we don't really see the um, current ramp like we do here. This is more of a ramp going up, and this is more of a curve. This injector right here actually has a pintle taken out. There's no pintle in there. So that's what's going on there. I hope you guys got the right answer. If you find this type of stuff useful, let me know. If you're a member of the core premium memberships, we have a great inductor course up on the membership site that we'll talk more about uh, this type of pattern and why you see that in a uh, current ramp or even any current pattern that's using an inductor. So you guys take it easy. Have a great day. Bye.